Hey guys, I'm driving along uh, in a developing blizzard. Um, <coughs> it's about 34 degrees right now Fahrenheit, so we're not quite freezing. That's like one to two degrees Celsius. Um, so the snow is, uh, it's kind of, I mean, it's snow in the air, then it turns to water on the ground. But anyway, I wanted to see if uh, autopilot would work in these conditions, and um, apparently not. Uh, so I feel like in AP1 it might have actually worked in this. I don't know. The visibility is like really low, even for um, humanoid drivers. And um, so I can see on the screen here though that it is it is showing some lines, but they're kind of faint. Uh, although it, they're for the most part they've been correct, but. If I try to engage um, cruise and auto steer, neither one is uh, available. So I am stuck human driving. Um, so I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if it's snow accumulating on the radar, ultrasonics, or on the cameras, or what it is. The camera up here, though, is within the swath of the wipers. So that should be getting cleaned. Um, so maybe it's the artifact of the snow in the air. Uh, I'm not really sure, but so um, yeah. I I mean this brings up the question, of course, with full self driving. What's what's this thing gonna do? And um, this isn't. I wouldn't even consider this like severe weather. Um, it's certainly a lot of snow but it's very drivable as well, um, at least for a human. So, um, I mean, they've gotta have some way to uh, keep the sensors um, operating, keep the cameras clear and the uh, radar functional and stuff in, in bad weather. Um, I can understand if it's like whiteout conditions, but, you know, there's still, there's still visibility here, so theoretically it should work. Um, anyway, so for the time being, um, it does not work in these conditions. I'd also like to point out that, uh, despite the large size of the windshield, um, because of the aerodynamics of the vehicle, um, when you get to, I don't know, 30, 35 plus miles per hour, um, the snow just you hardly even need your wipers um, unless the snow is super heavy and coming directly down but uh, like it just goes right over the right over the vehicle here I'll actually turn my wipers off and it's quite a spectacle actually having the view of up here too um, seeing the snow it looks like you're uh, like in Star Trek when they, or wait, no wait, was it Star Trek or uh, Star Wars? I can't remember. When they go to light speed or something, that's what it looks like when there's this much snow. But you can see so much more of the effect with such a wide uh, view. So, cool design. Of course, when you stop or when you go slow, then the snow starts accumulating on the windshield. So, um, have to have the wipers then. But, yeah, I don't have my wipers right now on. And, uh... Snow's just going right over. Pretty cool. Another interesting tidbit here: the uh, cameras are not picking up um, the cars that are surrounding right right now. So I'm going to try to get next to these cars, and you can see none of them are being picked up um, by the camera sensors. So that's kind of interesting. So the uh, blind spot warning and all that kind of stuff is severely limited during this kind of weather. And again, I would call this moderate weather. Um, it's, it's, there's still decent visibility, at least for actual driving. It's not like whiteout conditions, but apparently it is a whiteout to the uh, vehicle, at least the current software build. Here we are back home, and you can see there's uh, essentially zero, um, you know, stuff. Uh, blocking the uh, well this one actually I guess is pretty clogged up actually it looks like it's kind of foggy inside or something uh, let me see 
Oh, no, maybe it's just stuff on the outside. And uh, let's see the front. Of course, that, that one is fine. Radar is somewhere behind there. And um, it must not be working. So, at least through all that stuff. Needs a bit of improvement, definitely, on that side of things.